Oh, like it bounces. Chains. What is this? A chain. And it bounces, dealing extra damage to minions. Oh, so you could actually max Q, I guess. How much damage does Q do, in, do, do compared to W? So that's gonna do the Q damage and the sigil damage on the minions too. I didn't even know sigils like the passive worked on minions. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing actually. When Shadow Orb is empowered by Sigil and Malice, it bounces, but they don't even have to kill. Bounces steals 70% damage to minions. Wait, what? Bounces deals 70% damage to minions? On the on patch notes, it says it does 120% damage. Here's a 70. Is that true? I think W max is still better from ability. No, just here. It says it does 70% damage to minions, but if you look in the patch notes, it says. Uh, if this is 120% damage to minions, so... Grandma's cookies! Thank you. W minions and Q to pop the sigils. Why didn't I go assassin? I think LeBlanc still needs some sustain early. So you don't have to do Q, W anymore, you can do W, Auto, Q. Oh shit! Meteos with the misclick, lol. Is there a cooldown on the passive? Oh, there's the same target. Ooh. Ooh, I forget I have that bush thing. Did I proc it? Did I proc my sigil? I think I did. Oh, the boxing is pretty fun. Does ulti cost mana now? I don't know if it does. Let's go. That's so cool. That is so cool. Pog fucking champ, dude. That's insane. Oh, oops. I may have messed it up.
Hey, this is a wave. No, pretty good. It's all smoke and mirrors. I don't have enough pots to really stay in this lane forever. You, you can proc it too? No, can't. Oh, you can proc the passive but not the AoE. Holy shit. Cocked by graves. Maybe I should have bought MR actually. <clears throat> Copies and creates a mimic. Interesting. What? Respond to aggression. I must respond to aggression. Trust me. The cooldown so long. What happens if does it only bounce to spell bounce to nearby ready sigils? Okay, so they have to be marked with the sigil for the bounce. Separate cooldown. I need to get this out. Oh, that's not bad. I don't know what I'm doing. So that's my combo, like, that was actually not a good fight to pick at all. Just as I was trying to recall, too. I'm gonna have to use my TP down instead. Up, bro. Uh, if you hit chain, it procs passive on its own. Oh, I see.
Because LeBlanc's auto attacks are faster now. I can use my ulti globally? Yeah, but what's the point? It doesn't do damage. It's only to like bait them. So I need to be off the map in order to do that. How did I do it? Hello? How do I, I do the ultimate thing? Oh, it's on cooldown? Did I already do it? What? Use a global clone to scare someone? But I'm showing! <laughs> He's not gonna get scared when I'm showing. He's just gonna look at the mini map and be like, why is this idiot blow his ulti for no reason? Wow, I still don't really know what I'm doing, but it's okay. I'm doing things. Mm. So the green circle is the mimic CD, but I didn't use the mimic yet. At least not intentionally. Did I? My mimic has a separate cooldown? Oh, wait. Okay, okay. The mimic casts no matter what, but the global mimic. So I thought this was a the global mimic cooldown, not the mimic cooldown. Does that make sense? So I can't like use R R. So if I press ulti, it spawns the mimic no matter what. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, come on. This is my first time. Okay. Patience, summoner. My first time. Be gentle, be gentle. Whoops. Watch close. I am good boy. Yo, I can do it for here. Get him the block! What? It just instantly disappeared? What the fuck? That's it? That's fucking it? Oh, but it has no cooldown. Wait, my ulti has no cooldown? Oh, it does, but I guess I just used the mimic part. I don't know what is happening, but I killed him. That's the most important part, I guess. But since I don't actually use that ability, then I guess it doesn't put my ultimate cooldown to spawn the mimic. Man, this is confusing. It's actually not that confusing. I'm just learning. So I can use the Mimic without actually using my ulti. These are two different things. I don't have to use my ulti to use my Mimic. But you can't use your ulti without using the Mimic. Holy fuck. You can only really use your passive once throughout a combo. 
Yeah, I'm gonna mess with Sneaky here. Patient summoner. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, sneaky? Get prick. That doesn't even seem useful, though. Really, only for like messing with people. I guess it's useful somewhat. Whoa! Oh shit, there's a play now. Oh shit, boys! The block seems fun as hell. I guess it made me think it'd be useful if I've either been off the map for a long time or my TP's up, I, mean, I can like sort of bait them out. Other than that, I don't really know. I can TP to the sword right You have double TP. Kill Sneaky, this guy's bonkers. An enemy has been slain. Ooh. He's gonna think I'm a clone. But I am not! It's the real me. Yeah, I feel like the Mimic should do more than just cast a spell and disappear. Like, stay around for one second or something. It's not really very, very deceiving. Quite honest. Are you certain? Oh, I got him. Oh, I don't do any damage though. Well. Oh, he has a spell shield on him. I 
Clean voice sounds pretty bad. Look at Andy. Andy's riding against Skype and he's like, every time you die, you always grab your drink. I think it's like a... I don't know. Anti-tilt thing. I just like having something to drink always. I always have like, <clears throat> coffee, Red Bull, water, anything. Tea. I always have something to drink actually, yeah. It comforts me, you know? When you're sad from dying, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so bad at this game then. You just take a zip and everything feels better. Patience. Andy's just giving me shit for it. Before you do R W, then they might flash your chain. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it would probably be a lot better than you. Graves is actually quite a fun to listen to. I think we get outscaled actually, so we need to. Playing off Trundle's split push a lot, I guess. Oh, the Rylai slow. Oh, the block doesn't have the same passive as before, actually. Oh, it's just Nicky's gonna carry this game. Good. 
kind of getting the hang of it, ish. At least I know what I'm doing now. Her ult turns you invisible. Yeah, if you have your mimic up, it does, right? What does my clone do? It just walks around the map. He's dead. Sticky's dead! Sticky's alive! Oh. Holy shit! 0.1 seconds and he would have died. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go minions, go! Oh my god, legit half a second. Sticky would have died if he procked my chain. Meteos is the savior. The savior of the tower. Max on the block? No way. No way. I think you need Q or W for the wave hood, dude. The block is fun though. But I keep thinking in terms of when I use one ability, my next ability is going to be Mimic of the ability that I have used because that's how it's been with the block for years now. So it's just integrated or like stuck in my mind like that. But you can Mimic any ability. Wait, so if my clone is up and I use ulti, does that make me invisible for one second? Here's a target location. Oh, is it only if I do RR? Seconds. So right now I could do two Qs to proc the sigil, maybe? Yeah, I should be able to. Lol. How do I go invisible? I don't understand. The mimic creates a target location and approaches the closest visible enemy champion. What happened to the whole LeBlanc goes invisible thing when you use your ult? Isn't that a thing? I'm pretty sure it said that in the champion spotlight. You press ulti and then you go invisible. Did they change that? Let me read patch notes. On cast, creates a copy of LeBlanc. Before both becoming invisible for a brief moment. Did I go invisible there? Oh, 
It's the time between casting an ability. R and QE makes you invisible. Because the W... I guess it would be OP if you could be invisible through the air. Oh, what? I'm a part of the team fight, guys! I don't know what is happening, but they're dying. It's all smoke and An ally has been slain. We did it. Spillover coach from neutral monster AI. <laughs>